Next, I want to introduce the interior design. We have the wraparound cockpit. It's simple and classy, and the uh, passenger space is very comfortable. In the video, I said that I uh, I am one. Um, 0.81 meters, and everything that I'm bragging, and actually I'm not. And uh, some people even got some pictures uh, of me and Li Bing, and uh, he looks taller than me. But I want to emphasize that I'm actually 1.81. So when we design the car, we use the 1.88 meters of dummy for the design. You will not feel depressed in the front or rear seats. When we designed the vehicle, we designed the integrated sport-style seats, and we also adopted the high-density memory foam to ensure the comfort for short-range. Driving and also you will not feel tired for the long range driving. Also, we use the Napa full green Napa leather. It's very soft. It's very comfortable and it's skin friendly. It is certified. It's also safe for the babies. They are very good materials. We are equipped with very good sound system. We have 25 speakers, sound system, and support the Adobe. At most, and also we have equipped the headrest speakers for all the models. So when you listen to the music, you will hear that, hear the navigation from the headrest speaker, and it will not disturb the other passengers in the vehicle. This is a very sweet design. We have a very big trunk, which is big enough for a whole set of camping equipment. We also have a very big front trunk. This size of front track, only the most advanced dedicated BV platform can achieve that. It can contain 105 liters of things. So what can it be used for? For example, you can put your takeaway food there, and you can also put your fishing gear in the front trunk. It is very practical. Apart from that, we have 32 storage spaces in the whole vehicle. It's very exaggerated, right? I used to joke with them that the SU7 is a monster of storage. In the interest of time, I will just give you a few examples. We have lots of storage spaces. For example, when we reviewed the picture, some people asked, what are the two rivets on the IB platform for? Is that just the for good looking? Actually not. That is a dedicated standard M6 screw size, one on each side. And also there's another one under the rear view mirror. There is also a charging space under the rear view mirror. It is for the uh, phone mount here. You can also install a GoPro here. So the media professionals, if you are interested in the SU7, actually we have a very good design for you. And actually, lots of car makers do not consider the phone mounts. I tested lots of phone holders, and uh, they are not very good. In good. So I tested for lots of times, and I said to myself that we need to make very good phone mount. We also have two phone storage spaces at the central console supporting 50 watts of wireless fast charging. And also we have a phone storage at the door of the front seat passenger seat. So you will not forget your phone when you get off the vehicle. Also, at the central console, we have two large cup holders. It's good enough for two large cups of coffee. Then we have under the central console, there is a storage space for the flashlight. Here, we have two hidden hooks. You can hang a plastic bag or your takeaway food. This flashlight is very practical. It's also a product from our company. I want to briefly introduce the flashlight. 
It is a glare flashlight. It goes very far. Also, it can also be a seatbelt cutter and a window breaker. Also, it is a power bank. So, if you have that in your car, it would be very practical. Under the uh, armrest box, there is a 4.6 liter space. It's within the reach of the passengers, both at the front and the rear seats. When we talk about the uh, smart refrigerator, actually, I had a car with the refrigerator. I used that once, and I just abandoned that. Because if you put one Coke inside, then when you make a turn, it wobbles. It's very annoying. So when we designed the uh, smart refrigerator, we has especially designed this anti-roll mat. No matter you put one can or three cans of Coke, it won't wobble. Also, I want to especially introduce this super extra large glove box. We have some engineer users who would like to take the laptop on a vehicle, and it's unsafe to put it in a car when you leave the car, and it's very troublesome to put it in a trunk. So we have this glove box. You can put the laptop here. That is very convenient. We also have lots of storage spaces. I will not go into the details. I think when we design a product, we do not design just for beauty or appearance. We also design for experience. I want to give you an example. We designed this panoramic glass roof. It's very spacious. It looks very transparent. It's good looking, and the glass area is up to 5.35 square meters. I want to make it very spacious. And then when we talk with the potential users, a female Tesla driver said. Well, it feels like an oven when you see it inside such kind of car. Wouldn't it hot in summer? Well, then we take this as a main pain point. How do we address that? The first thing we do is to make a double layer sewer plating for the panoramic glass roof, with. 99.9% of UV isolation, 99.1% of infrared ray isolation, and then we find another serious point is the front windshield shield. It's even much hotter, and uh, many female drivers will wear the sandblock sleeves because it's pretty hot. For the front windshield, so we use the uh, three-layer sewer plating to isolate the 99.5 percent of the UV and 97.6 percent of infrared ray. This is the only car using three layers of sewer plating. Also, we use the UV IR coating for the windows of the four doors, with the uh, UV isolation reaching 99.9 percent. If we translate that into the sun cream, that is equivalent to SPF 100 plus or PA 4 plus. So that is highly sunproof. At the rear seats, we also designed the privacy glass. You do not need to do further paint work. Then, how good is that in terms of the sunblock? We made a test. We left the car in 38 degree sunshine for 90 minutes. It's a very common weather during the summertime in Beijing and now to say the southern city of China. So we make a comparison with Model 3. Model 3 is like a global benchmark. It's outstanding. So we compare with Model 3. Can you imagine that after the test? We are 12 degree cooler than Model 3, so you can also take a temperature gun with you to test. I was also amazed at that time. Within one and a half hours, the temperature becomes very hot. And I think SU7 is not only good looking, it is sunproof. And uh, we also have a separate ultra thin panoramic glass roof sand blaze, and we also have the sun shade for the front windshield. Do you think this is uh, good enough? And some people may say that is not. So we have designed this ultra thin sand blinds. Apart from that, we made the 
sunshade for the front windshield. They are of high quality and they are very easy to store. Then that is like an all-round protection. Pretty soon we will enter summer. Many places in China are very hot, and people will bring sun umbrella. After one or two months in my hometown, we will enter the plum rain season, so there will be lots of rains. I do not like the umbrella and the water when we put that into the vehicles. So we have designed the umbrella storages at the front doors. It's very convenient. Also, we have. The uh, umbrella storages at the uh, rear seats. <laughs>